Well, hello, friends and followers. As many of you know, I've had a stroke, which was induced by the hospital in the emergency room when I went in for a an upset stomach, vomiting. Anyway, I can't reverse that now, so I have to live with it. I've been working on my motor skills with my left hand, trying to do a little bit. Typing isn't so good like it was for my job, but if you, they say if you keep on, you know, using your hand and doing stuff with it, it comes back. I'm still tingly, but the hand is obeying a little more here, what I need to do. Anyway, I spent last night talking to a really good friend of mine named Scott. He's a really good guy. And as I was talking to Scott about old times, I was uh, using a Q-tip and getting this radio all the nicotine off it. So I call this radio the ashtray because whoever owned it is certainly dead from all the smoking. This thing had thick, thick nicotine on it. In fact, uh, I can show you more of the evidence of the nicotine. Um, if you look in here, there's all the brown, all those brown um, Q-tips have nicotine on them from the front of the radio. So it was pretty disgusting and all these knobs were pretty disgusting too, so I was able to clean them up finally. This takes a lot of time, and it's like you don't really want to do this unless you <laughs> have nothing else you can do. So that's kind of what I've been doing then. And so you can paint these little knobs with a model set. So I got this model set to build my father-in-law a model, and he passed away, unfortunately. I built him an airplane, a little... What was that airplane anyway? It was a uh, b -b -b Tiger Moth, a Tiger Moth airplane. And anyway, I had some brushes left over and the famous WB4HFN who restores Drake's, he repaints the knobs. So I thought, yeah, I'll take a try at this. And it, it works out pretty well. You can, you know, dip this thing in some white paint and uh, you can paint the knob. And then as soon as you paint it, you gotta get a uh, paper towel. And uh, I'm trying to find the paper towel where it went on the floor here, but you got to get here it is. As soon as you do that, you got to get a paper towel, and you're going to wipe off the uh, the over paint on this knob, and it comes out nice. So as soon as you paint the line on here, you just get paper towel, wipe it off. It doesn't really affect the uh, the groove there where the paint is, and it comes out nice. So. These knobs are looking a lot better, so I'll put these on the uh, radio and uh, enjoy the radio. That, that's kind of how you make an old radio your own radio. You get it cleaned up and you get all the crap off it, and uh, hopefully this one will turn out right. I took the uh, display board out yesterday and I lubed the PDO. I still can't get the nicotine off the rim of this thing. I uh, tried, but you'll see there's still nicotine on here. Drake kind of puts a plastic coating on here and I think the nicotine, um, it bound with that coating. So that's not going to come off, I don't think. And I'm not going to struggle with it and, and make it worse. But I think I got the panel of this thing pretty clean. Um, I kept Q-tip it with Windex uh, until I didn't get any more brown. I'm sure I could get some more brown on the Q-tips if I keep Q-tip in this thing. But I really want to get my room cleaned up here and get this radio at least put together so it's not in 10,000 pieces on the floor. And uh, I got a PS7 power supply coming for this thing so I can see if it works, the transmitter part. It receives real nice. I've never aligned the receiver or anything, but it did receive nice. I want to get these potentiometers cleaned up here with some uh, detoxin now. And then maybe start putting this radio back together. You know, you know, put it back together, if if for nothing else, then I don't want the parts lying on the floor anymore. So I took the fan out this afternoon, and the fan was also filthy, so I gave it a careful cleaning and got a hair dryer and dried it out. What's that? Yeah, some more crud. And I, and I plugged it in, and it spun, so it doesn't go very fast. It's a quiet little fan. Even the uh, little guard on the fan was all screwed up. Yeah, even the, even this guard was, even this was filthy. Just filthy. So I got this all cleaned up and uh, 
I took the shop back there to the finals to get them kind of sucked out. I'm not sure it did much good, but I kind of I kind of took a Q-tip, some Q-tips in here and tried to get some of the crap out of the finals there too. I would need to take that brick out to really clean it up, but I guess I'm gonna avoid that. So yeah, this thing's looking better. I just don't like filthy radios. I don't like using them. I don't like looking at them. They're just bad. I, I wish people wouldn't smoke. This guy, this guy that owns this radio has to be dead. I mean, that's probably why I have it. He died from smoking. It was so nicotine filled. My parents smoked also. And so I'm used to nicotine, but I don't like it. This guy, though, that owns this radio, if, if he put this in, this is a nice board. He, he um, He's a pretty smart guy. I guess he ran ready with the radio. He has it all labeled there. I'm not sure what that big board does. I, I guess in time I'll figure this out. As long as this radio works and does sideband and CW, that's all I'm going to use it for. I'm not going to use it for ready. I don't like ready even. So that's my story today. And uh, I've been trying to get back on the computer to uh, get my hand typing again. I, I do IT work, and if I can't type, I can't work. So both hands have to work. And they said to keep the hand moving, keep doing things with it, even if I can't type very well. If I manipulate little parts and things, that helps my hand. I can turn things with it. But it tingles, and sometimes the motor skills are off, so i got to keep going with this hand. All right, God bless you all. Thanks for watching. That's what I'm doing with this old Drake radio. I really want to get this room cleaned up. There's the... Uh, Top of the radio there, the bottom of the radio is sitting over there, and uh, there's a radio that works, the, the Henry, and I gotta get this room cleaned up. I can't stand the mess in here. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.